Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me guess. We're going to do this with another edition of Crazy Man channel, I guess. Oh, do it with excitement. Yippee! Oh, dear God. Okay. Let me get it together here. What, crackhead? What? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Excitement. Okay, exciting. Yippee! Another edition of the Crazy Man Channel. Yippee! Uh, today's topic brings us to this point in time where we're providing quality entertainment at its finest, but yet making YouTube crazy one video at a time. But this topic does neither or. This topic gives us nightmares, which is included during the middle of Spook Fest. Welcome to today's nightmare of Walmart go kart horse. Yay. What we got to call it Walmart go kart horse for? In the first, who, who thought of this idea? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Good name for it. It's basically true. So, Walmart go kart horse. Man, it just goes together fittingly, doesn't it? Seriously, find out who came up with this title. Yeah, skedaddle. So, Walmart go kart horse. It does have a ring to it. And let me tell you something about go kart. Horse, Walmart go kart horse. Let me tell you what happens with Walmart go kart horse. Say you walk in and you're the elderly, you're 75 years old. Yes, even old people, old people, gotta eat. I mean, they didn't make it 75 years old or 80 years old without eating. I mean, let's just face the facts. So they go into Walmart, and they can't barely move around because they're old. They probably don't even know they're at Walmart to begin with because they're probably senile, too. But let, let's let's get back, just get down to the facts without all the hubbub, okay? Cameraman, keep the camera straight, please. Thank you. Back it up just a tad. Thank you. Why are you scooching back here for? Don't do that. Okay. So, they're not realizing where they're at, but yet they're at Walmart. And they're not moving around too too far or too well. So they're looking for a go-kart. But no, they can't find a go-kart. Why can't they find that go-kart for? Jimmy, please tell me why. I'm going to tell you. Just give me a minute. I'm being sarcastic right now. Because of Walmart go car whore. Man, that thing just rhymes. Like, can I say it again? Walmart go car whore. Man, I love that title. You find out who came up? Whatever. So, what is a Walmart go car whore? You know, you seen them at Walmart. Now, I'm a fat guy. And I'm above average weight. And my weight needs to be lowered about 80 pounds. Seriously, I'm I'm, I'm kind of overgrown sized type of guy. So I have right to talk about you people now, because now I'm in your category. Yes, the umpa balumpas of the world, the people that are just above, right above, just right above extreme thickness. You know, above extra large, between being between Pillsbury Doughboy and you just being sizes, <laughs> then people. And you know what I'm talking about? The kind that they when they go to sit on the go kart in their little shorty shorts that comes up to their buttocks, and when they get on this thing, their buttocks. And all their leg muscles, as we want to call them, or their jelly rolls, have you want to phrase that term, 
goes hanging down to the floor on both sides equally the same. They're on this device. And there's the elderly looking for a, de a device. Or somebody, say, in a casty for the footsie. That, that means cast for you foot, in case you didn't know. But they can't find it. No, not the elderly or the or the person with the casty in her footie. Why? Because jelly jelly roll person's on that daggum thing going up aisle six. Why you get by such a horror whore? Dang! Get off the dang thing. Exercise them jelly roll muscles. And, and and please, dear God, if you're of umpa balumpa stage in your life, and we've all, you know, well, we ain't all been there, but a lot of us is, you know, needs to lose weight. And I'm guilty of it, and I do need to lose my weight. But when you get to that stage of your life, Here's the issue that I take with this, and it makes me grab a tissue with these issues. For starters, stop wearing the stringy shirts. You know, one that's got all the holes in the back end. Because it looks like you got 16 titties. Say that again, Jeremy. It looks like you got 16 titties poking out of that shirt. And it's poking out of that shirt, dear God. Help God help us all, dear God. I don't want to see you and your 16 titties poking out of that shirt. The two on the front side does me just fine. And they're hanging down, down to your undies. Matter of fact, it's probably what's coming out of your shorty shorts. Come here, crackhead. I'm talking about somebody right now. Let me leave you with this note. First, before I get to that note, oh, let me go ahead and tell you the note because I'll forget it. Please do yourself and us a favor, please. Like I do every time. I go to great lengths to go walking around the store because I know my fat rear end needs it. My heart needs it. My legs need it. My fatness needs it. To try to lose some of that fatness. Let's, let's all start there and go forward with her losing of the weight because I need to start somewhere. And I'll work with y'all and y'all can work with me. We all give us support. Thank you. That way we can get our hearts some exercise and some blood pumping through our legs and stuff. Okay? We all need that. We need to support. Us fat people all need to support each other. Now, I got a story to tell. One day, there's this lady on this umpa balumpa lady who decided walking is not her thing. She didn't get that sexy body by walking. She got it by eating and sitting still. She wasn't going to do no exercise called walking or moving. So that little sexy body of hers, body, decides so it's going to plant itself on that, on that go-kart. And she was going to become a Walmart go-kart go whore. And she got on this thing. And she proceeds, proceeds down. She, well, I guess she decided she was going to start at the back of the place. She didn't make it all her, and with all on her 16 titties, did not make it to the back of the Thor. Now, here's the miracle out of this deal that I find odd. See there. Oh, and that, that, that's not the miracle. Here's the miracle out of the whole deal. 
This lady proceeded to stand up, walk around the dang thing. By instantly staring at the thing, she ruled it as a dead go-kart. So the go-kart whore apparently knew by looking at it, because she's such a Walmart go-kart whore, with all her 16 titties and her equally muscle legs that hung down to the floor, knew just by staring that it was jacked up go-kart. I guess I guess done it by experience, I guess. Then proceeds to walk over, get somebody out of the back, because she was she was towards the back, able to walk this miracle. It's a miracle. And tell somebody she needed another go-kart. Cause that was broken. No, lady friend. No, 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 friend. That's not what it is. That robot of a machine could not talk because if it did, it would have been screaming, Help me, please. Help me, please. Now, friend, you should have called me for, for, for encouragement. Go ahead and walk the rest of the store. Just do it. You can make it. But no. She then proceeds back to tell everybody that the thing go kart was screaming for its life. I wonder why. Then proceeds to get on the next go kart before it is found dead halfway back up the store. I think we're screaming for his life, lady friend, with all your 16 nipples and titties. Back to what I said earlier, or was saying earlier. Please call me for encouragement and let the elderly and the people with casties for their foot days take him go-karts and then you'll go walk it together. So we can both lose our weight together. Please. Don't be a Walmart go-kart whore. Let's save a go-kart today. I'll post a 1-800 number. Here at the end of this video. To save the go-karts. Please everybody. Let's save a go-kart today. Okay this is the end of the video. 1-800 Walmart go kart whore. Supply your money now. Before it's too late. Thank you for watching. Save a go kart. We all can make a difference.